Yo, what's up, YouTube? Today's video, we're going over everything that came out yesterday, Wednesday, for MLB The Show. It's the start of double XP week. Earn double XP from gameplay. Level up your fourth inning program faster. If you haven't gotten to the boss, you definitely want to do this. And if you haven't gotten to the 650,000 level yet to get your 90 overall player chance at Mike Trout, you're definitely going to want to take advantage of this. What you need to know, though, is it's only for XP from gameplay. So, like, if you do a program, you get a card, you turn it in for the fourth inning XP, you don't get double XP for that. It's only for gameplay. It's still good, though, and I'm going to show you how. All right. So, first things first, daily moments. Uh, don't forget to do your daily moments. This one's worth two points, by the way. So if you don't have Pablo yet, you definitely want to do this. Six total bases with Grady Sizemore. I got um, Pablo yesterday, so I'm just doing them for the rest of the month to get this extra stuff here. So it's all good stuff. So make sure you do your daily every day. So today we got new Tops Now moments. I still haven't finished last week's, but we got new ones here. All right, the new ones for this week, we got Max Freed. Uh, he's got a four-seamer, curveball, slider, sinker, changeup, so good mix. He's got good hits per nine. Um, K per nine, 88. Walks per nine, 84. Um, control, 81. If you look, he's got 91 control on his four-seam, 85 on his curveball. Uh, good break on his curve and slider, though. Um, and his hitting stats actually aren't bad. Let me move myself over here so you can see. All right, as you can see, he's got four, uh, 59 vision, 55 power lefty, 40 against righty. He's got 65 contact against right-handed and 75 against lefty. So this this uh, card right here can can hit, so that's cool. Uh, then you got uh, Jaron Duran. He just got called up for the Red Sox. This is a pretty good hitting card, gold defense, but it's another outfielder, another center fielder. But if you're all times Red Sox, you know, good contact, good vision, and, uh, you know, decent power. So if you're a Red Sox fan and you're making an all-time team, you know, it's not a bad card. Then we got Will Myers, who can play right, first, third, left, center. Um, his vision's a little low. He destroys right-handed pitching, so he's got reverse splits. 96 contact, 107 power versus righties. He's got good power against lefties too, but his contact's a little lower. So this is a very versatile card for Padres fans. And then last but not least, Jed Lowry, second, third, first, and shortstop. Diamond defense, diamond hitting. This is just an overall pretty good card. Um, 77 vision, 80 power versus left. 105 versus right and 107 and 95 contact respectively. That's pretty good. This is a pretty good offensive card that can play anywhere on the infield. Um, yeah, like I'm shocked at actually how good this card is. And Jed Lowry is always so good in BR. I like his swing so much. Uh, I might actually try this card out just for the heck of it because he's got such a good swing. You're going to want to make sure to keep your tops now caught up because player of the month will be out here before too long, before you know it. So you're going to want to make sure to keep that caught up. All right. Also today we had the third part of the event come out. Um, I have 31 wins. I need 40 to get uh, Cespedes. So I'll definitely be doing that. But this time it, this ends uh, Tuesday. So you got five days for this one. American League pitchers and infield, National League outfielders, or any All-Star Series players. Uh, again, it's three inning games, quick counts on, on All-Star, so it's super easy. All right, the last thing that came out today, The Life. It looks like a pair of Tatis' sunglasses, I think, but um, it looks like a pretty easy map. Here's the goals. Capture the Orioles on the first turn, so pay attention. You have to capture the Orioles on the first turn. All right, and I'll show you how to do that. Uh, Brewers on or before second turn. So you got to pay attention to these turn bases. Yankees on or before third turn. Capture all of them. Uh, these are all show pack rewards, by the way. Uh, capture all enemy strongholds. Uh, there's six of them. It's a thousand stubs, 600 XP. Conquer all territories because you're about that life. You get a ball and as a habit pack. 
There'll be other packs randomly throughout this map as well. I'm not sure what all it'll be, but when I was saying that the XP bonus is still good, it's perfect for these. See what I'm saying? Because now you can get double XP for all these games. So it'll add up quicker than you think. It says you have to capture the Orioles on the first turn. So let's see, they gave us 46. So you gotta start here and you basically gotta work your way across and hope for a little bit of RNG's luck here. You're gonna have to sim these games right here and hope that you don't lose a lot of uh, resources doing it. I kind of like how they did this. It's kind of interesting. All right, so if all goes well and you make it to Baltimore, across here like I did, you'll have to play Baltimore on Veteran, which is very easy to do. Very easy game. Just go in there and knock that out on Veteran. All right, so after you win that game, ooh, look, I got 10 packs from leveling there. And a bonus pack from taking uh, Baltimore. So you go back to view goals. Now you gotta do the Brewers on or before second turn. So all you have to do is start here. Oh, well, actually, start where you're at. And start taking those territories and work your way towards the Brewers, right? It should be real easy. Another show pack. All right. And then you can play this game on veteran too. So you can get them all, you can get both games on turn one. All right, after you beat the Brewers, we got Alex Reyes up to two. After you beat the Brewers, you get another pack there. You'll basically just want to keep going and heading towards the Yankees because you have to do them on a return team, turn three, but I'm still on turn one, so I'm probably going to arrive at the Yankees doorstep at the end of turn one here, and then I'll show you what you want to do. So we're on the Yankees doorstep, so we can see what level this game. It's also veteran, so technically you can knock all three of these out easily on veteran on turn one, and if you win all three games you'll be able to finish this up right here too and then finish up the the last two teams it this this is a really easy map you beat the yankees like i said and then you'll what you'll want to do is another pack um you want to move down here and finish up this spot here that you can boom all right you don't have to steal fans on this map, so you can literally just go to reinforce here, uh, move these fans here, attack this, and then you should be able to play the White Sox on Veteran. White Sox on Veteran, beat them. You take the White Sox out, like I said, Headliner pack uh, for the White Sox, so that's cool. And then what you want to do is you want to start heading this way and get as many uh, troops as you can. Hopefully you don't get RNG'd into the ground. And just try to fill up as many of these spaces as possible. So you don't have to come back to it, you know? Ooh, another headliner, set four. All right, and then what you want to do is skip again to reinforce, come here, make sure you move whatever you have left to that as well, take out this or whatever it is to get to them, wherever you're sitting at, and then you should have one more veteran game against the Giants, and then you just clean the map up and you're done. Yep, better. There's the ball and pack for taking out the uh, the giants, and then we just start cleaning up the map. By now, you all know how a conquest map works. Reinforce, rinse, repeat, clean it up. All right, map is done. Another ball and pack, and just like that, we're done. All right, so then we go out and see what packs we got. We got uh, diamond ball player. 
Um, yeah, we're taking this. Uh, sure. And sure. Nice, nice little bit there. Got a silver pack. Corey Evil Knievel. Got a headliner. Boom, boom, boom. Will Smith. Alright, getting jiggy with it. Ooh. Must be the uniform, yeah. I already got that, so we'll quick sell it. Alright, so nothing out of the standard packs. And if you've been following the channel, you know that we are now on an 0 for 37 streak with diamonds and balling as a habit. So will we be 0 for 40 after these three? Let's see. Thirty-eight. Thirty-nine. Yes, we in fact will be over forty on ballin' is a habit packs. I, I honestly I can't believe it. that's it's actually pretty crazy. But I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. Make sure to get in there for the next week and grind, grind, grind the games. Get your double XP. Finish your program all the way out and get your free ninety plus level diamond even if it's a crappy one stubs or stubs um if you uh, enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if you're not subbed hit the damn subscribe button please we're approaching a thousand and make sure you watch these videos for me and get that uh watch time up appreciate that a lot uh if you have any questions leave them in the comment section below let me know who you got out of your packs from the conquest map and if it was anybody good not me i got nobody so yeah but anyways, you can catch me here, same buck time, same buck channel.